Welcome to Fox TV News, where everything is true. Bombshell. Police investigating the disappearance of Philip Poswell's daughter and her mother have taken one of his close female associates and two men into custody, reporters learned th late Thursday night. The suspects were arrested at separate St. Andrew properties on Thursday and, according to police sources, will be charged with murder and kidnapping. The name of the suspect is being withheld until she is charged. Police sources have said that Powell, the Member of Parliament for Kingston Eastern and Port Royal, is not a suspect in the matter. On September 9, Powell had confirmed reports reaching reporters that his 10-month-old daughter and her mother were missing since September 8. Powell said the two were seemingly abducted from their home at Gilmore Drive, Kingston 20, on the morning of September 9 and have not been heard from since. This is scary and comes at a time when I have been threatened by scammers who have hacked my phone and banking data and are demanding money to release them, Powell said at the time. I made it clear that I will not give in to extortionists, but this is a serious and dangerous development. The matter has been reported to the police and I have given a full statement. I have also increased my security measures, he said. I am worried sick over their safety and hope the police, who have launched a high-level investigation, will find the abductors and get them both home safely and sound, added Paul Well. Two firearms seized in Flower Hill, St. James The St. James police have seized two firearms and 33 assorted rounds of ammunition during an operation in Flower Hill, St. James on Thursday. Reports were that about midday, lawmen were in the area when an open lot was searched. During the search, an M16 rifle with one magazine containing 25 5.56 rounds an estimate and was a 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 30 9mm rounds of ammunition were found under a mattress. No one was arrested in connection with the seizure. Classes going well at Ochoa's Primary following health care. Principal of the Ochoa's Primary School in St. Anne, Suzette Barnes Wilson, says classes have been going well since the health care at the institution on Monday. 65 students were rushed to the St. Anne's Bay Hospital for consuming drug infused sweets. All the students who were taken to the hospital have been released up to Thursday. Speaking to reporters on Thursday, Mrs. Barnaby said there have been cooperation from the school's bus drivers and parents. She said they have increased sensitization at the school about what students should and should not purchase. She said following on her promise to have students brought onto the school compound, the bus drivers have been cooperating. The parents have been responding well positively to it. And what we appreciate is that the, the education of what children buy, eat, and stuff, it has increased. And that is it. We, we are pressing to have regular conversation. So we are pressing parents to have a regular conversation. Us at school, we are having that conversation. We would have had that conversation because we are part of our core value. We have the S, which seeks the safety, and then we have the, the, the trust, the R would speak the truth and so we would have been um, ensuring that we, we bolster that and to push our children into talking about this on a regular basis. So we're increasing the conversation time that we would have had and to make sure we, we integrate that as best as possible. Our bus drivers, our taxmen and um, all parties, all agencies, apart, they are working with us, they are working together pretty well. We have been doing so yesterday was food sailing. Today is the same and we give God thanks for that. Witness says Beaches thought pressured him to kill wife. Delvon Minto, the second witness in the murder trial of Everton Beaches Todd McDonald and his co accused Oscar Barnes, testified on Thursday in the Home Circuit Court in downtown Kingston that the businessman pressured him to murder his wife Tony and McDonald. McDonald and Barnes are being tried for the July twenty twenty murder of Tonian, which hard remains was found on the Sherwood Forest main road in Portland with multiple stab wounds and her throat slashed. Minto, who had confessed to his involvement in the murder, is already serving a 19-year sentence for the crime. According to Minto, McDonald contracted him to murder Tonian and gave him strict instructions that she was not to be shot. The witness claimed that the businessman ordered that she be stabbed and her throat slashed. I spoke to him in his supermarket in Portland he and I were talking about Mrs. McDonald. He said, Me can't afford to give you the job for doing it, and you not do it. He said, I was taking too long, 
and that I was an idiot. I told him I was going to make it work, he said. Just come on, man. Just do the thing, man. The job was killing Mrs. Mark. He said if I can't manage, he would make one of his boys from town do it. I told him that I would do it and that he should not give away the work, Minto testified. Minto, a fisherman, who also did small-scale farming in the yard before his conviction, told the seventh-member jury and presiding judge, Chester Stamp, that he first became aware of Beach's thought one day in 2020 when he heard someone shout the name at the fishing beach in White River, Portland. The witness said Mr. McDonald was in a black BMW motor vehicle at the time. He said he next saw Mr. McDonald when he visited the businessman supermarket in Port Antonio to seek a job. This Saturday, when I went, I saw Beachy Stout again. It was at his supermarket. I told him I needed some work. I told him that when the goods truck come in, I could hand down rice, sugar, flour, and so forth. He said to me, may have better work for you. That's when he went into his pocket and went on his phone. He showed me a lady on the phone who I never saw before. He then said to me that he wanted her dead and I told him I couldn't do it because I never did anything like that before, the witness said, explaining that the woman on the phone was Tony Ann. However, Mr. Mack insisted that he could do it and offered him $3 million for the job. He said, you can do it, just make your price. I told him I couldn't do it because I didn't do anything like that before. He said to me, I will give you $3 million to do it. I told him, all right then, and I left the office, Minto told the court. He said after the initial encounter, he continued to link up with Mr. Mack in person and on the phone. He also said that Mr. McDonald took away his personal phone and told him that he wouldn't be needing it anymore. The witness testified that he changed phones and SIM cards very often at McDonald's request. He said that it was after many meetings with Mr. Mack about the planning murder of the businessman stated to express concern that he, Minto, was possibly incapable of carrying out the mission. He claimed that during a meeting with the businessman in his office, Mr. Mack took out a scandal bag with cocaine and snorted the cocaine before alleging that Tonian had hacked his bank account and had stolen $31 million. He said the businessman, after sorting the cocaine, authored that Gelia Huffy did. He said he didn't want her to get any gunshot, Imse, Imwa, Mr. Barup, and Kotarnik. He said, all you have to do is go over to the house with her and wait until she comes out of the car, and then, Mikilar in a de yard, Minta said. The witness claimed that although he told Mr. Matt that he had never done anything like that before, the businessman nevertheless constantly pressured him to get the job done, and so he hooked up with Oscar Barnes, the co-accused. The witness said he met Barnes at a fishing beach in 2020. I spoke to him for around six or seven minutes, Minto told the court, adding that he had other conversations and meetings with Barnes. The last time I saw him was the night of Mrs. McDonald's murder. He and I went to the location where the murder took place, he claimed. The witness told the court that Barnes was well aware that the purpose of the link-up between both of them was to plan Tonian's murder. The trial is scheduled to resume on Monday. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, and click the notification bell.